They are some of the best in the world at reading and writing, focusing on the international braille competition and two students at the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind. We'll find out Friday where they place in a big competition. Leah Shields sitting down with the two visually impaired teens learning about braille. Good morning, Leah. Good morning. So any bookworm knows that you open a book, you get taken to any place in the world, any story you want. So this is exactly what Braille does for these students as well. They use their sense of touch to feel the dots on a page and help them learn about the world around them. I am a bookworm. I get yelled at for reading too much at my house. I really just like learning, so. Reading was my way of learning, so I was like, I'm down with this. Savannah Lindbergh was born with sight and a condition that would slowly take that away from her. So I actually started in preschool and kindergarten reading print and learning like the print alphabet. But when I started losing my vision a lot more drastically in first grade, they transitioned me into reading Braille. Her best friend, Taylor Sherman, had nearly the exact opposite experience, born without vision and slowly gaining light perception. It never got good, but it did get better. So like I can see, if I look around, I can kind of see all around this pavilion, except I just can't see the details. They can both feel the details, plot twists, storylines, music theory, with their fingers and braille. Now that I think about it, it sounds really complicated, but again, it comes second nature. They've made it to the top 50 finalists internationally for their Braille reading and comprehension skills for the junior varsity division. Reading Braille is you run your fingers like over the Braille and you're, you're really processing like the different patterns. It's just reading like any other person would except just in a different format. The girls yeah. say they fell in love with Braille in the same way many fall in love with traveling. It's their way to access the world around them. I got to spend about an hour and a half with the girls doing this story here at the Florida School for the Deaf and the Blind. And they taught me that Braille takes up a lot of space on the page. So let's say you have an average Harry Potter book about this size. It'll be nine volumes of Braille. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.